I'ma swap it out. Jada sneaker guy, 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 Jada sneaker guy. You, Tobe, fam, all. What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome back. Glad to have y'all rocking out with your boy, Jay the Sneaker Guy. Man, if this is y'all first time rocking out with the fam, we need y'all to stick around, man. Hit that subscribe button down below, man. Roll to 100K. If you know, you know, man. Look, we would love for y'all to be a part of the family. So, hey, go ahead, rock out with us. Hit that subscribe button. It is free, free, free. We also ask of y'all to hit that like button. Um, Members of the fam, y'all already know the vibes, man. Hit that like button. Hit that, hit that, hit that, man. But, yes, man, we are here today to take a look. Well, a look, review, on feet, all that good stuff of the Air Jordan 1 High. I'm going to put some quotations around High 85 because we got to talk about that. But High 85 Georgetown Joints, which is released in April 2nd at a retail price of $200. Premium price tag for a quote-unquote premium shoe. But it is nice, you know, nonetheless. And this shoe is one of those shoes that I do think will haunt a lot of people that pass on them a lot of people say that they have the georgetown threes they have the dunk georgetowns all that the list goes on and they don't need these but trust me this is one that you want to put up in the collection because it's just fire me personally i need two pal man yes nelly vibes give me two yeah y'all know the vibes but yeah man we're gonna be talking about those today man before we dive into it man we need to make sure that you guys are traveling the right way man make sure that you grab you a soul premise bag man hit the link down below in the description man that is the only way to travel man let me let me let me show y'all a bag real quick Bang, man. Here we go, man. We do have the Luciano Leather. The big boy, man. Holds up to six pairs of shoes. If you are up to like a size 10, I want to say. Size 10 and a half, 11 and up. Maybe about five can fit in here, man. But plenty of storage room, man. Premium bag. Hey, check the comment section of my last video. How people are talking about how they love their soul premise bag. I'm telling y'all, it's not no cap wrap. It is the truth, man. Hit that link down below in the description. Grab you one of these today. You won't be disappointed, man. Now let's get to these 85s, shall we? Yes, sir. So back on track, man. Look, these 85s, when I did mention earlier, quotations, high 85s, we got something to talk about, Jordan Brand, because I thought that this shoe was supposed to be a reimagined, pretty much a, a replicated version of the high 85 that we seen back in the 80s. Uh-uh-uh. I actually pulled out my Jordan 1 Storm Blues, and I compared them, and I put them side by side, and I actually noticed that my... Storm Blues was a little bit higher cut than that of the High 85. But it does have a look to it. It has a look to it that makes it look like it's high cut. I don't know how they do it. It's a, a manipulation thing or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But it actually is higher on my OG Jordan 1 Storm Blues than the, you know, High 85s, you know. So. I find it to be weird. Y'all let me know. Compare that to one of your Jordan 1s. See if it is higher. As y'all seen from that B-roll or you're seeing from the B-roll, it is higher. And I do have them leveled out. They're both at the bottom of each shoe. It actually looks like the Storm Blues might have a little bit more room on the bottom and top, man. So, kind of crazy, man. But, hey, that was just something I noticed when I was comparing the two shoes. But, other than that, man, hey, had to get my little rant on that. Y'all tripping Jordan Brand if, if y'all are, you know, doing something to make it look a certain way. I don't know, but y'all seen it yourself. But anyways, y'all let me know how y'all stack up to any of your Jordan 1s. Other than that, let's dive into this review. Bang! 
Here we go, man. We got the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetown joints. And let me go ahead and put a quick disclaimer out there. The blue laces is not OG. That is not how they come from the manufacturer. They come with the gray laces in there. You do have your spare blue laces hanging from the shoe alongside the hang tag, the, the book that comes with it. Take a look at the book right there. That is how that book looks. It does have that Jordan spread out logo and a wings logo in the corner. On the inside of it, you do have some details about the shoe. So it breaks down the shoe on the inside of that. So that is how that book looks. And like I said, it does come with a spare set of those navy blue laces on that same side. But moving on from that, man, a clean, clean shoe. We're going to dive right into it, man. We'll start with the box and um, we'll go from there. So taking a look at the box that it comes in, it does come in a very familiar box. But I mean, we knew, we normally see this color box when we're getting like a women's exclusive or, you know, sometimes, you know, a, a premium Jordan, you know, will come in this box such as all your previous high 85s, your reverse breads, your neutral grays, all those high 85s did come in a red box, so there's nothing different on this one. And on the size tag, it does read Air Jordan 1, high 85. I went true to size, size 9 on this one. And the color blocking is College Navy Summit White. So College A, hey, Georgetown high 85, man. Moving on, taking a look. When you remove the lid, you will get a lot number on the lid as well as a Nike swoosh and then you have swoosh written out on the other side. Taking a look at the paper, it does come with a cookie sheet type paper is what I like to call this. It does have that, that type of material of uh, like a cookie sheet paper. You do get your two threes on there, you get a Jumpman logo and then you do get a Wings logo all on that paper. Same exact presentation as your previous High 85s if you owned any. And it does have a white and green sticker inside of the box, man. So that is how your boxes coming from your Nike retail sources will look. So make sure that your boxes is coming exactly like that. And when you're diving into the shoe, man, the shoe does come wrapped up individually. So they both will be wrapped up individually when the box, when you first, first open them, I actually, you know, I put my papers in the box. I don't even wrap them up because that's too much work. But when you do get them from Nike sneakers or any of your local retailers, Nike retailers, you will have them wrapped up individually and that's how they will come, man. So that is pretty much it for the box, man. And um, yeah, that's how yours should be coming. Other than that, let's check them out. Bang! So yes, here we go, man. Taking a look at, taking a look at the jersey. We got the GOAT, we got the GOAT, man. Shout out to AI, that's my guy, favorite basketball player ever. But anyways, outsole of his shoe, man. You do have a regular Air Jordan 1 outsole on this one. Nothing different, slight dirt on the bottom because I did wear my pair already. But anyways, all over navy. When you move up to the midsole of the shoe, as you can see right here, it is all over white. And it does have that distinct like groove that you normally get on a lot of your high 85s. I think all of them, pretty much all of them does have like more of a grooved midsole. Um, on your regular Jordan ones, it's more flattened out, but it is very distinct, the grooves on the pairs that are 85 cut. But moving up above that, man, you get this nice leather that a lot of people aren't too fond of. You know, they like that, that crinkly, the soft touch leather, but this leather is more of a premium, like a higher quality leather, you know, uh, you know, good quality leather is really more stiff. So this is a little more on the stiff side. If you know, you know, but you know, uh, no, no crease in none of that stuff, man. It's just a very, very stiff leather, man. So some argue that they don't like that, but as you can see from the toe box, man, I wore these already, did my own feet, all that good stuff in them. No creasing at all, man. So that might be a plus, you know, because of the good leather that's on the shoe. It's not showing any type of creasing, you know, up to this point, but like I said, man, good, decent leather on the uppers. It does have that Chicago style color blocking, navy all throughout the outsides. You do got your hits of that light, light gray on the side panels, on the back heel tab. And like I said, man, everywhere you, you can look is just stiff, stiff leather, but gray on the side panels on the inside as well. Taking a look at the front of the shoe, nice gray toe box on this one. No creasing as I did say from the time that I did wear this. 
and it does OG originally come with the gray laces laced up but I like mine with the navy so I'm going with the navy and right here was one of the things I had an issue with but I have grown to like it the yellow tongue yes your eyes ain't playing tricks on you it is a yellow tinted tongue man so the tongue does have like a yellow tint on it as if it's like a styrofoam piece behind there or something but just you know yellow looking tinted tongue gives it a vintage look in my opinion moving up above that you do get that nike tag which is in a navy blue and white so you got that up top when you take a look at the inside of the shoe it does have a size right there size 9 at the beginning and then it has 2021 0808xc i don't know what that stands for exactly but it does have that written right here on the inside of the shoe and of course depending on size that size should vary but um taking a look at the shoe tree or shoe paper this is how this comes you don't get a shoe tree with this one so shoe paper that comes inside of it it does have like a model number and different things like one of those type of tags on the inside as well as a side sticker on the bottom my nike air tag is kind of getting worn out already just from the time that i wore it but as you can see it does have that shoe tag inside the, that comes with it you can barely see it but it does have that on the inside these shoes were manufactured from it looks like july through september of last year man so only a two month production on this shoe man i want to show y'all all the details that's the back of the tongue logo but only a two month production on this shoe man and in my opinion just my opinion y'all this shoe number one is going to come back and haunt a lot of people and the prices of this shoe is going to skyrocket in the future trust me i see this being one of the ones like the reverse 85 slowly starting to go up the neutral grays those are uh you know it's all white shoe not doing too much but i do foresee this one right here being that one man so do not sleep i think right now is a good time to purchase you know get them right after they drop maybe a couple days after they drop after the pairs circulate from the sneakers app and whatnot but do not wait a month two months three months to grab these because the price is only going to go up man trust me man but the georgetown high 85 definitely a dope one in my opinion i would give this shoe a nine out of ten dope dope jordan one it is double up worthy for me hence to why i do have two pairs man i had to do it man so yes man y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions on the georgetown high 85s other than that man we got to throw them on feet we got to swap them out but we're gonna keep the swap simple you know what i'm saying white laces clean and you know we up out of here man so thank y'all for watching y'all stay blessed and um let's get to swapping man hit that subscribe button Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bang. Rock, rock. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can't blow no candle. We stay lit. Oh, yeah. So let it burn us your raiment. Yeah. We ten toes down to the pavement. Ten toes. Over cash, yeah, we raining. Crying. A cool 200K, yeah, we gaining. Yeah. We online, but we ain't gaming. Oh, no. Nah. But brother, game it ain't no shaming. Oh, no. Nah. We the ones originated. Yeah. So you better show up with that pavement. Hey, what was pure, they suckers tainted. Yeah. That's the picture that they painted. Yeah. But they fake. They fake. They UA. UA. Just take the stick and no food gaze. Yeah. Swap out the lace in my flu games. Yeah. Mr. Swap it out, he got two names. Two names. Yeah, yeah. Just a little info for your kin folk. Just in case they didn't know it. Yeah, yeah. Made a couple bandos for my handles. Better ball, don't blow it. Challenger, master flow, tinted windows on my gone head floors. Trying to catch me slacking, but he swag at Jackin' Bruh, and I gotta report. Sneak game. Bang! Sneak game.